Tokyo Electric Power Company has come up with a plan to put the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant under control in six to nine months. The TEPCO chairman explained the plan at a news conference on Sunday. Since the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, we have caused a huge amount of trouble and inconvenience for the residents who have been forced to evacuate. We have also caused a great deal of concern and anxiety to society in general. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize. For the immediate goals, we have set up two steps. Step one, in step one, we will ensure that the radioactive material is being reduced. In step two, we will ensure that the release of radioactive material is fully under control and the amount of radioactive material is substantially reduced. We will be validating these steps, verifying these steps. Residents have been forced to evacuate and they would like to return home. We would like to assist the government in planning for their return home. Or we will overcome the challenges including cooling the reactors and provide objective information. As for when we will be able to meet these goals, although there are many risks involved, for step one we foresee three months, step two will be for the subsequent three to six months. In achieving these goals, for the time being we will be focusing on cooling, containment and monitoring slash decontamination. These are the three areas of focus. We have identified five challenges and countermeasures so that we will actively work in these countermeasures. We will work closely with the central government and also the local government leaders so that TEPCO does everything possible in the area of monitoring and decontamination. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi power facility has finalized a new plan to cool down its troubled nuclear reactors. Tokyo Electric Power Company will install a new cooling system. It filters contaminated water and then recirculates it back into the reactors. Following the quake and tsunami, cooling systems broke down in reactors 1, 2, and 3. TEPCO workers have been pumping in cold water in an effort to keep them from overheating. But the water inside the reactors quickly becomes contaminated with high levels of radioactive substances. No shit. And due to possible structural damage in the quake, contaminated reactor water has been leaking into the basement of neighboring turbine buildings and service tunnels. This has impeded emergency repair work and also created a bit of a disposal problem down there. Now, to best deal with the present circumstances, TEPCO plans to first pump contaminated wastewater outside the turbine buildings where it can be more safely cooled and filtered. Radioactive substances and salt are removed and a continuous supply of treated water is circulated to gradually cool down those reactors. TEPCO is scheduled to start operating this new cooling system by the summer. The Japanese government will allow foreign companies to build temporary housing in order to speed up reconstruction efforts in disaster-stricken northeastern Japan. Local authorities in affected regions have asked for 72,000 temporary housing units to be built. However, so far construction is underway on only 10,800 units. As a result, the Land and Infrastructure Ministry decided to allow foreign companies to build temporary housing under certain conditions. Companies need the capacity to build more than 100 units in two months. They are also required to meet Japanese standards for electrical voltage and wall plugs and must form joint partnerships with Japanese construction companies for maintenance work. Ministry officials say they have already received inquiries from construction companies in the United States, Italy, South Korea and China. Local governments will consider ordering the construction of temporary housing units after reviewing bids from foreign companies.